What's up everyone, Kinetic here. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to do the half and half slab glitch, meme, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's pretty simple and so I'm just going to kind of go over it because it's kind of popular right now. So the first step is you want to be on a block, like a center block. You don't want to be here because it's going to do something wonky whenever you do the first command. So, open up your command prompt and type in slash world border center. And it's going to do that command. That means you didn't do it right. So, what you go next to is right above, like, for me, it's escape. And then you do shift or just click space. You click this one right here. And then you click enter. So that sets the world border. Now we need to be able to see it. So we open the command prompt again. You can recall this command if you want to and then just delete this part and add or set to nine. This puts the world border right on the edge of a block so this glitch can work. So now you kind of just want to go around and see which one is actually solid because sometimes it doesn't work right if you know you can phase between the world borders. You want to be able to make sure that it's completely solid and you can't walk through it even in creative. So the next step is just go to you know your inventory and look up piston, lever, and slab. So now you can pick any one of these slabs, but of course, if you do a black one and a white one, it's going to really contrast, but you can again do them with any of these slabs, it'll work. So what this, basically this glitch does, is makes it to where you can stack two things on top of each other without them doing this. So I can have these same, these both of these slabs as the same block. So you go over here, and you put put this here, and then you just kind of hit it a couple times. Wait, there we go, got it. Okay, and then you just do it like that, and then you power the piston. It's going to do this, and then you just break the piston and break the lever. So now this block is both in the border and not in the border. It's technically not in the border, but it is in the border. The texture is in the border, but this block is unbreakable because it doesn't exist. So the next part is the finishing part. It's really simple. Put the thing here, and you put the other slab that you want to put on top of it, just like that. Power it, break the piston, and there you go. Now you have a single block that is two different slabs. So I hope this video kind of helped you guys understand. Uh, just basically how to do this. Uh, again, it's not super duper difficult. Uh, it takes a very simple um, understanding of commands, but I have put the commands into the description and so you can copy and paste them if you want to. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It was pretty short because not much to it, but it is pretty cool that you can do this. So that's going to pretty much do it for today's video. Kinetic out.